Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and today I'm going to do the flip through on the mysteries of the pen and ink lap book. Um, so this is the front cover. I'm sure that if you remember, we worked on this uh, cover together, sort of. <laughs> and then here is the spine, which I was going to measure this, I didn't. can't read that hardly well it's like two and a, maybe a sixteenth and then the width is uh, six by eight and three quarters okay and these were made out of um, books from you know novels like um what's her name uh can't think of it right now <laughs> anyway so there's this is all glued on to here and here and then i just have this little bit hanging over and then when we open the book there's these two plain pages because you can't really put ephemera on it or otherwise the book won't close which i had a hard time getting it closed because it's just too much stuff all right, so I'm gonna move this over a little bit here so we can look at this page first. If, we can, if I could get that in the camera. Okay. Uh, I don't know am I crooked? I can't tell. Okay, so in this first uh, pocket here, uh, this is tied up with these little tabs like that. And then um, each one of the little envelopes we have some kind of a journal card um, inside so that's that one I don't know if I'm going to take everyone out but uh, journaling space on this side this side I didn't I oh actually I forgot to put something in there um, I'll, I'll go back and find something um, this is the um, waxed paper that I did and I made a pocket out of that and this was um, one of the journal cards that I made uh, during uh, Taddy Treasures um, challenge okay yeah, I've got to get up something I would it was getting so full that I I had to stop putting stuff in here's just a little uh, journal card on this side because I'm thinking uh, whoever, well, I actually know who's getting this, but um, these things can come out if it's too bulky. So this one has a journal card. Up, and then it has a journal card up here, Weathering Heights. So this is kind of a writing um, mystery sort of journal where, you know, you can write mysteries or things like that. You can put anything you want, obviously. Okay, there's two a pocket with two journaling spots there, and then um, inside here is um, I just put this paper clip up here, and that needs to be glued down. Let me do that right now. I think, I'm not sure if I use glue stick on this and sometimes glue stick, or no, I didn't glue it at all. I was probably just waiting to do that. So I put this here um, so that somebody can put some um, ephemera here or a note, but otherwise it's just journaling space. And then we have this card in here. Can everybody see that part? Uh, this journaling card here, long skinny one, shows through the window there. And it's a little hard because it's not a real stiff card, it's um, lightweight. Okay, and then in here is the thing we made with um, like a Tim Holtz thing. And then down here is this um, flip journal card or tag flip and it comes down like that you can journal there and you can journal on that 
and it says little detective at the bottom. So that goes, actually I think it's better if you put these back in first. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how I had them. Hmm, how did I? Maybe more like that. And then this one will slide back in here easier. It doesn't get caught on the little groove things. Okay, so that's that. And then I showed you this one here. And then this is going to come over again. And then this comes over this way. And ties back on to here. Far as it's going to tie. Okay, so this book weighs two pounds, by the way. This is journaling uh, space. I don't know how many pages. I think there's like eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have um, uh, 40 pages to write on. Actually, more than that, but. Anyway, that, and this comes out, so it's removable. And I did not put any ephemera in here because I couldn't fit any. So that's something that, you know, you can do yourself if you want to add more ephemera. Okay, and this one opens like this. And this is the one that we did that is a vertical uh, waterfall, I called it. And then I put these... Um, imitation um, documents in there and these were from uh, tailor-made journals and this one I just decorated the front collaged on the front and another one in there another collage and another page there and then a collage here and this one opens this way collage and then this way and then inside here where we put that oh no this is a different one um i put a notebook inside of here so you can write down things okay so that one's was pretty simple to do but i like the way it turned out okay oh. close that and open this side and we'll see what's in here Okay, we have a little pocket here with the journal card. We're writing on there. Um, here is an envelope with a journal card in there. And then here is a, wait a minute, let me open that because it's in the way. Um, a little um, tag. And this is the kind that you can turn. And I put that on there for Randolph. <laughs> so then in here, this is journaling space here. And then I have a journal card in here. And I have this little tab because I couldn't put a charm because it was getting too thick. Um, um, oh, I have this tuck. I gotta go back and fix that one too. I've been trying to get this done, and you know, you just keep um, adding and adding. Uh, this little pocket here we made out of just paper, and I put a, a tag in that. And then there's another tag here, Moby Dip, and another paper clip because this needed to be clipped on because on the back side is another uh, journal card. And I put two um, corners on, the, on that page. I just thought it kind of looked nice. Oh, and there's a journal card in here. Right here. Ready to go. All right, let's see, did I need to go this way? Uh, this is another of the um, 
receipt things that I got from um, tailor-made journals I think and I just put a, a flower black flower there and a journal card in here and you can see through it because of the uh, wax and now up here remember I put this little guy in there on that back page and these I just pulled pages out uh, most of them are kind of vintage this is straw paper there's a little bit of uh, coffee dyed I think parchment or tissue or I forgot what it's called um, and then that's it and then you can journal back here okay so that one goes that way that way that way I think that way and this way and it ties Okay, and then over here is another journal section that's just plain paper. I've inked all the edges, and it just goes into that. Um, you could get more uh, space in here if you took these pages out, too. But I was thinking if I took one or two pages out, it really wouldn't make a difference um, in the... I'd have to take them all out, in other words. Okay, this one. Oh, I, I like this little card. This book is stole, was stolen from Harvard College Library. It was later recovered. The thief was sentenced to two years at hard labor. <laughs> anyway, I was just going to throw that in there. Okay, so this one here is glued on to this um, pocket. And this comes out. It sits up inside of here. And you can journal in there, but it comes out. Then I have a little notebook in here, a couple tags here, and then a tag that comes out on this side. And um, in this tag here, that you can um, journal on. Hold on, where was that? Okay. And then here is another um, pocket I did, and I put one of those um, 3D stickers with a, a fountain pen, and then I just put a couple journal cards in there for it to write on. Then here I made, this is um, a belly band. It wraps around, I think it was Roxy Creations that I did this, but um, then I thought, what if I glue that? Should I? Because then I could just make this a tag with the journal spot on the back, but it could sit in this um, in this uh, belly band. And then I could get that picture going through there. Okay. And... Okay, that's that. Then here I have a journal card. And I really need another. I should be clipping these. I need a journal card up here. I was getting so flustered yesterday trying to finish it. And I knew I needed stuff, but I was so afraid to get it too full. Okay, these I just used washi and to stick those down. And then inside here is a little uh, journal card and the washi you can just press it down just to keep these from flipping up another little card in there am i out of screen this is so huge okay Get that back okay then over here we have a journal card here just a couple labels there this one here I just left it plain um, I think you can journal here's my uh, little tag or my little stamp I think you can journal on this anyway and maybe on this too but or maybe you can put something you want to put there um, like I said it was just getting too big okay and this is the pouch that we made 
And let's see what I put in this. Okay, so in here I put this um, check. It's from um, 1927. It's a reproduction. And that's fun to write on those kind of things. And then here I just took a whole invoice type thing and made it a writing space like that. And hopefully it doesn't slide down too far that you can't get it out. <laughs> All right, so that's that. All right, and that's the last of it on that side. So there's quite a bit in here. Um, I'm going to um, put something in this pocket. I want to close the book, though. I'll just go back. Whoops, I forgot to tie this shut. I think this goes on top. Um... Yeah, I'll go back. I always miss something. It never fails. Even when I think I look through it all again, I just always miss something. Okay, so then this one goes this way and this goes this way. Now, I will tell you, when I close this, it wants to pop back open. It does not, once you get it, oh, no, it's popping. Uh, once you get it and set it down, it's fine. And I think it just needs time to, um, for the pages to do their own squashing. You know what I mean? And I think it'll be fine. I, I just don't have a latch that is appropriate for closing this. Uh, if you want to close it at home, um, let me, let me check. Oh, that's more of a hair tie. I thought it was more just... I was thinking... I just want to see if that, that would hold it up, but maybe just a, a little sorry silk ribbon across it or something. I'll figure out something to put so if somebody wants it to stay closed, they can. But I didn't want something wrapping around this part of the, the lace that was sticking out. Anyway, so that's it for uh, today. Um, I think I'm going to take a few days of break. Um, I don't mean every day, but I just need to get things together here with my mom. Um, it's Easter's coming, and I need to do some shopping and that kind of thing. So if you don't see me for a little bit, that's that's why. And... Um, you know, I appreciate you guys watching my videos daily, but uh, I'm getting where I can't, with my mom being sick, I just can't do it. So, um, you know, if I come in here and I can sit down and I can work on something, I will. I don't know that I'm going to do it as a video because that makes it all different. You know, doing the video, you have to try to straighten up your desk. I mean, mine's never totally straight but you know I got to make a spot I've got to get out what I've got to use for that or kind of know what I want and so that makes it um, more time consuming is what I'm saying otherwise I could just leave the whole mess sit here and just come back and work 10 minutes and then go feed my mom and so on and so forth until we figure out what's wrong with her uh, doctor's appointment tomorrow so we'll see all right so um Thank you, everyone, for watching uh, this uh, flip through. And don't forget to comment um, for the month of April because I will have something for a giveaway. And uh, I appreciate your comments. And it's fun to, to read them all. Okay? Thanks so much. Bye.